In our final section, we're just going to talk about the implications of using, uh, having a 2D gameplay in a 3D environment. So, as you know, Unity uses a, uh, a 3D physics engine, which is NVIDIA's physics, uh, to do all the physics simulations in the game. And uh, it might seem like if I'm making a 2D game, why am I using a 3D engine? Isn't this a you know, waste of performance? But honestly, the modern physics engines today are so optimized, they can handle you know, thousands of cube primitives or sphere primitives very easily. For a game like this, unless you're relying heavily on physics, it's going to be no problem at all. So you, know, you can put that worry out of your mind. And uh, what you have to do to make the physics play nice in your 2D world is that you have to pretend that your objects are 3D. So Alex, if you could go to the game scene and we can take a look at the truck. Yep. So our truck, visually, is just a couple of planes. Two planes for the wheels, a plane for the truck body. <laughs> but in, a, in the 3D world, it's actually a compound system of colliders, box colliders that make up a 3D shape for both you know, the front areas and also the cargo um, section. So if you could go to the perspective view again, and uh, also select the all immigrants object. So that's where we keep our passengers in the back of the truck, and they're not all on the same plane as you can see. They're layered in three rows of three uh, passengers. And the reason for that is when these people go flying into the air when you hit a hard uh, obstacle, you want them to be able to get back in without stacking on top of each other so much. So when someone from the second layer gets bumped off, they can get back in because there are only two other passengers that they can possibly avoid. <laughs> <laughs> Alex can hopefully, yeah, there you go. You can adjust them around. And, uh... <laughs>
So yeah, basically we turn smartphones, either Android or iPhones or iOS devices into game controllers. That's probably <coughs> the simplistic way of looking at it um, because that's one use case. You can also you know, use them and create mesh networks and all kinds of other crazy stuff or create this uh, as a one render endpoint, for example, and you want to like offload another screen uh, in your game. Let's say you have like uh, levels, or, or I'm sorry, like maps or inventory or something like that that you wanted to offload to uh, maybe a tablet device like an iPad, then you could also do that as well. So it doesn't always have to be a standard controller. Um, so basically you have a second game screen. You could have a second game screen, exactly. That's, uh, that's the idea with that use case. So um, we support a lot of different platforms. Uh, I already mentioned Android and iOS. Uh, we also have the Unity SDK, which uh, the Alchemy guys here are using. Um, because that's uh, built on top of Mono, we have a C-sharp.net implementation, as well as an ActionScript one. And, uh, more recently, <coughs> we've even added a C++ library for native code, so that'll get you on Mac, Windows PC, and Linux as well. So uh, we cover a lot. Um, also, all of these different devices can connect to one screen, so it doesn't always have to be a one-to-one -one relationship either. You can have multiple devices controlling something, multi-user games, split screens, you know, racing games and stuff like that. And uh, so with that, basically we should try some games. Um, I, I, I don't know if you guys want to give this a try real quick. Um, before we play Small Truck, we'll try to, um, uh, we had this boat race game, which is like a head-to-head -head, um, iPhone versus Android game. <laughs> this is kind of a uh, prototype at this point. It's not really complete. We're still working out some of the game design on it. But currently, it's called Rival Razors. So, let's see if we can try this. So who wants to race? Any volunteers? Hopefully this works. I, I may not. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I'm a dumbass. I have to join. I'm not working. I said, you know what? Let me. Uh, let's play this one next because I know um, Alex already has his phone hooked up to this wireless network. So that's the other thing. It works over a Wi-Fi network. So you have to use be on the same network. And I gotta hook up my Android device to that. So in the meantime, we'll hook this guy up and we'll have a volunteer come up and give this a try. Who wants to play? You don't actually have to come up. Since it's Wi-Fi, you can be in any point in the room. So I've got a volunteer over here. Let's try over there.
Oh! <laughs> 